hello hello welcome back to the vlog i am so excited today because today we are enjoying the little things so for example look how much sun we have look how bright it is it is six o'clock i just filmed two videos with no artificial lighting just the lighting from nature and it's six o'clock and i'm so excited about it and now we're gonna go on a walk because it's so nice outside and i'm so pumped for spring um that is the good thing the sad thing is that after the time change i have been struggling with all of life because i was really doing a good job with like my routines and my plans and all that which means that now that they are changing i'm really struggling but i'm not struggling as much as last year which is the other thing i'm really grateful for is that this time last year was a huge struggle because i spent the first like three months of last year basically stressing about what i was going to do job wise because i knew i wanted to leave my job but i wasn't sure where i wanted to go or what was going to happen or what was going to be available or any of that kind of stuff um then i got an interview at the job where i currently am and i had to wait like three weeks for the interview which was horrible um thankfully i did get offered the job on the spot so i didn't have to wait after that and then i was so excited because i was like oh finally things are settled i don't have to stress about this anymore told my principal like the day the day i accepted the job and that day was the day the school caught on fire and we spent the next like month busing the children from our school to another school and trying to teach them in the gym and the cafeteria of the other school while we had like 18 classes in the gym and like 18 classes in the cafeteria and it was miserable like some of the worst weeks of my life so my point in that is that i am just so excited that the school did not catch on fire at least not yet so what you know i am really excited for the small things today sunlight and the school is not on fire so we're 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 rocking and rolling here anyway today is tuesday march 12th it's almost st patrick's day i got a new skirt for st patrick's day look at this cuteness i actually have the exact same one in yellow but I figured I would wear it quite a bit because I do like green in general. So, you know, there we go. I'll link it down below. It's from Amazon. It has pockets. It's cute. It's long. I love it. And yes, we're wearing lots of shame rocks because it is almost St. Patrick's Day. And that's a big deal here. I spend all day singing Irish songs with kids because that's what we do. And if you're like, Becca, what is this room where you are standing? Y'all, yesterday I went to choir and I came home and like my house was rearranged and I was like what is happening so while I was gone my husband moved the piano <laughs> moved all of these things moved all of these things like this was upstairs I walked in and I just stood here and was like what is happening but it looks so nice so I'm really excited about that he even hung the mirror up there like he, he was working real hard but it looks really nice I like the piano this way um, we do need something here but overall, I'm very content with how this looks and excited for, um, you know, an area where I could potentially even film. It's so nice and bright in here. I like the board and batten. He was saying that it's not his favorite, but I like it. So, you know what? There we go. All right. So, let's see. It's 6 o'clock. It's Tuesday. Um, we're going to go and take a walk. And then it'll probably be time to cook up some dinner. I'm making teriyaki chicken for dinner not irish that's okay um and then i will show you when we get back from our walk i got hopefully what's gonna be my easter dress i ordered two because the one i wanted the size it said i wore wasn't in stock so i ordered like a different size so i was worried it was gonna be too small so i ordered another one in the size it said i was but it seems like it might be too big so i don't know we're gonna find out momentarily about the dress situation um and then dinner and then after dinner i will probably sit on the couch and work while we watch tv we've started gilded age which is really good real good it's by the same people who did um downton abbey but it's in america in like the 1880s it's great it's on peacock maybe or hbo max one of those 
anyway um but i'm in the middle of some products this month i had a bunch of products that i wanted to get done some that were things that i had started before some that are things that i just need to get up and posted um so i have like a lot of product creation going on this month i don't have as much next month because i've already kind of started to think about quarter two and what i want to do in there and we can talk about that later so i don't know exactly what's gonna happen in this video but we'll probably talk maybe about like you know strategizing planning or maybe we won't i don't know i'm gonna go to work i'll see you later all right so we're back from our walk and i'm trying on dresses for potential easter dresses so here's option one this is the one that i really i'm looking at the mirror behind me um really was after in the first place um honestly i thought it was blue online but it looks a lot more of like a green color in person but really fun floral it's got like sequins which is fun so nice and light airy fun there's option one let's see option number two okay so the other dress was definitely the one i was planning to go with honestly i just ordered this one because they were sold out in my size in the other one so i went a size smaller because they were sold out in like all the sizes above um and i was worried it was not gonna fit it was fine but i really like this one y'all look how cute i feel like a teacup like it's just so cute i love the blue and white and the sleeve detail and it's got like a fun interesting neckline but it's like high up so you don't have to worry about anything and it's in the pockets mm. this, this, this one feels like a becca dress so leave your suggestion down below one or two what you think I mean, I'm, I'm definitely keeping. Really, I think the question is, is this the Easter dress? Do I keep this one, send the other one back, or do I keep them both? And wear the other one for Easter. This one's not going anywhere though. Easter or not. Okay. Hello, happy Wednesday. I am very tired today. We did um, Kids Heart Challenge, used, formerly known as Jump Rope for Heart today. Um, hence my like workout outfit that I just wore to school. Um, so we spent the whole day like in the gym. Think, well, actually I spent a lot of my day in my room because my room's ne next door to the gym. We have a few kids who are very sensitive to loud sounds and loud noises. And so a few of them, um, I took out because of like sensory issues and then a few of them got kicked out for not following directions So they came inside my room too um, So I spent actually a good probably like half of the day in my room and like the other half in the gym Like watching and keeping track of everybody and make sure everyone's good um, But yeah, those, those things one just wear me out two They always feel like they should be on Fridays and it's only Wednesday and that makes me sad now to be fair, Friday, we have a planning day, so it's not really a day off, but it's like a more chill day than when the kids are there because I can like sit and work on my computer and that kind of stuff. I don't have to like actively be teaching all day. So that will be, you know, kind of, it's it's a lighter day. It's, it's still very busy. We get a lot of stuff done. Um, I have like some meetings planned and I have some like planning that I need to do for my classes and stuff but um it's just very different so that is sorry about that tomorrow also i should have the least amount of classes normal because i have like a different number of classes every day so some so i can have up to six but sometimes i like don't have this grade or i don't have that grade and tomorrow's the day i have like the most amount of planning and the least amount of classes as long as i don't have to like sub for anybody so fingers crossed um i really really appreciate a nap right now um but we're not gonna do that i'm gonna go take the dogs on a walk i know two days in a row look at me um but i'm trying to get back into especially with the it feeling nicer more dog walks um if i can't walk the dogs for whatever reason if i'm just too tired or if the weather's gross trying to do yoga instead just like trying to do one of those two things when i get home in the afternoon so my like ideal afternoon routine would be come home and do either 
a dog walk or yoga and then like play piano and then um, clean up the house a little bit, make dinner and then after dinner work on my computer for a little while and then stop about nine o'clock ish and chill from like nine to 10, 1030 and go to bed. So that's like my ideal after school routine. That doesn't always happen because you know, we got different things going on. So it just kind of, it just kind of depends on the week and the day. And like this week I didn't have to stay after school for anything this week. So that's been helpful. But like Friday, I usually come home and I clean instead. So just keeping that in mind. So I'm going to take them for a walk today. Tomorrow we're, I'll be filming. So we will not go to work. You didn't need to know all that information, but now you have it. Merry Christmas. Um, yesterday I did get quite a bit done. I worked on, I'm working a lesson pack for the song Rain Rain Go Away. So I finished up the slides and then I, um, I was having an issue with the slides where I, I make them in Keynote, I export them and then I put them as the background in Google Slides. So that way one, people can't steal my work quite as easily. And two, personally, I like it when the background is the slide because that I'm not actually deadly moving things around, especially if the kids are doing it. It's the worst when they like move everything and it drives me crazy. Um, and then also I use like a bunch of fonts that I need to use because they're like music fonts. I can't use them in Google Slides. So I put them in Keynote and I export them as images, put those as the background of my Google Slides. I have a bunch of videos about that on my main channel. Um, but my backgrounds were really, really grainy and I couldn't figure out why. And I ended up making the slide size and keynote bigger and then exporting it and that fixed the problem. Um, they're, so they're a lot crisper, but I had to fix that problem last night. So that took some time and then I started working on the worksheets to go along with it. When I do a lesson pack, I try to do slides and worksheets and like some sort of activity to go with it, which sometimes I already have something that fits the bill, but sometimes I don't. So it just kind of depends on what's going on. Um, so that was what I got done yesterday. This morning, I didn't get anything done because I had to leave early to present about how to teach music, integrate music into your classrooms. So that's my story. So today, walk, shower, dinner. We're having chicken bacon ranch casserole, which is great. Every time I make casserole, I make two. So we'll have one for next week, one for this week. Hallelujah. Um, that's one day I don't have to cook. Um, and then after work or after dinner i will do some computer work so i need to um make my activity that's going to go with this one that's like a fun composition activity and i think i finished all the worksheets i need to double check them and make answer keys and then um i have a bunch of things i need to like sign us up for and or purchase so like i'm out of all of my face soap and face lotion like my morning and evening face soaps and my morning and evening face lotions so I need to order all those things I like to order them online because usually I can find I can get like cash back or something like that I need very important I need to order some new ears for Disney let me show you what I'm thinking um and yeah I didn't say they were all important I just said they were things I need to do and then I need to sign us up for um we're gonna go see Jersey Boys this month on stage the savannah theater is doing that one i haven't seen anything about the savannah theater so that'll be fun and then um we're gonna go see frozen like the broadway version of frozen in jacksonville so that'll be really fun too let me show you these ears that i'm looking at so next time we go to disney we're doing magic kingdom i want to do if you don't know by now i'm very into disney and i like to like theme my outfits, my everything. So I have this backpack that is tangled that I haven't used yet. So I wanna use this one and I wanna do like a tangled theme for my outfit. It's so cute, it also glows in the dark, super cool. And then for our uh, day, so that'll be for the park. And then for our day that we do, oh, what do you call it? Disney Springs. I'm gonna take this crossbody purse that looks like the lantern. So I'm doing two tangled days. Important things we've got going on here. So I'm gonna make a shirt for the park day. The other day I think we're gonna wear a dress. Not a like a fancy dress, but like a like a workout dress. Um so I've been debating between these ears. and these ears. 
and I think I might just buy them both. But I, I just, I need to get them. And then, it's a Pascal ear holder. So if your ears start hurting your head, you can hook them onto your book bag and it looks like Pascal. And I'm so here for it. And then I also kind of want to get this, which is totally frivolous and I really don't need it, but look how cute. I do this like every time. This is how I this is how I get ready for Disney. Like once we decide what park we're going to, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do. I pick like my whole outfits with everything. Oh, and then I'm gonna order another backpack. Don't judge me. Let me show you the backpack I'm gonna order. We're going to the Hoop Dee Doo Review, which is like a dinner show at the campground, which I have never been to. So I needed something that was like cowboy themed. Clearly, because you can't wear something that's not how my name to do a review. Um, and look what I found. It's Woody, but it's Woody from his show. So he's like in black and white and his arms move and it looks like he's in a TV. Listen, it's so good. And I think I can probably get away with wearing that with my, either my like normal black and red mini ears or with my um i have some that are like campground ears and they look like a tree trunk they're cool so these are the very important things that i need to get done tonight important things on my mind you know you gotta you gotta you gotta do some work and you gotta do some you gotta do some play and so this is this is my play and you know what picking fun outfits and making them all cute and themed makes me very happy and it's my favorite parts about going to Disney World. And then when I go and people like compliment my outfit, I'm like, thanks, I know it's amazing. But I appreciate you saying that too. So I, the one I have gotten the absolute most compliments on was last year when we went to Hollywood Studios and I did like a, like a Woody, or not Woody, we did, I did Buzz. And so I wore my purple skirt. I made husband and I matching shirts last year. So his said to infinity, mine said and beyond. And then I had my space ears and I got an alien backpack. It was great. I got so many compliments that day. So we'll see if we can beat it with Rapunzel. That's the, that's the goal. Thank you for listening to my really important things I needed to talk about. I'm gonna go take these puppies on a walk since I'm already in workout clothes. I might as well. And then I'm gonna go take a shower so that I won't be disgusting. Crush your fingers and don't fall asleep. Does everybody put sticky notes onto their computers to remind them of things that they think about at school? Or just me. That's how I communicate. School to home. Also, I got these sticky notes. They're sticky until this part, so they actually stay down. Hello, happy Thursday. It is a really happy Thursday because <laughs> there's no schools, no kids tomorrow. So, planning day tomorrow, day off on Monday for everyone. Kids are off tomorrow, so that means that we don't have kids till Tuesday which is nice. I mean, I love them, but it's also nice to have a little break. Um, I just filmed a whole bunch of videos, which was fabulous because y'all it's 6 30 and look, there's still sunlight outside. It's so nice. And the videos turn out so much better when there's sunlight. Like I cannot express how much better it is. Um, so that's really exciting. Um, today I just did here. So I just set up my little tripod, did that. I have light coming in from the window and then I have light coming from my lamp that I moved. This is like a $10 lamp from Walmart. Um, so I like this one, it just kind of gives the room more light and then this one points at me to combat the light coming in the other side because you kind of want like two sides so that it helps with the shadow situation. Um, but yeah, just got a whole couple of videos done. Not a ton, a ton, a ton, but I'm kind of at that point of like, I think if I keep going, I'm gonna be really, really, really tired and really grumpy. So instead I'm gonna go make dinner and I'm gonna change my clothes. Um, that's my plan for today. 
Normally I do not do work in the evening if I do videos, but I think I might do it anyway because I'm trying to just get like a whole bunch of things done. There's a lot of stuff on my to do list that I'm kind of like, if I can get these things done in March, then I'm going to be really doing pretty well for April. And I have like different things I want to work on in April. So I'm trying to like wrap a bunch of things up and get a bunch of things done so that they're ready. And also have a bunch of things that are spring themed, which, you know, would have been better to get out before March, but spring is a long enough season that it's like, as long as it's before April, it's probably fine. I wouldn't get them out after April though. So that is really all I've got for you. Yesterday I ordered all the things, got all the tickets, worked more on my products and finished Gilded Age. I am so sad. It only had two seasons and each season only had like seven episodes. I don't know what is up with these movie companies and they're like 10 episode seasons. 10 episodes is not a season, 20. We want 20 episodes in a season, okay? Okay, let's bring back bring back the good seasons because that was very depressing when I realized. I also thought there were four seasons that were only two. It's a really good show. Why is someone ringing the doorbell? That's weird. Please hold. It was just packages, so crisis averted. Um, no, I don't remember what I was saying. I don't know. Got some things done yesterday. Got some things done this morning. Really struggling with the time change, but yeah, that's pretty much all I got for ya. I was trying to decide if I should go ahead and end this, which I probably should because tonight I'll probably do some work, but I'm usually sitting on the couch so you won't be able to see it. Um, and then tomorrow I'll be at work and then I'll come home and I'll clean. And that's really, there's only so many times I can show you how to wipe down your mirror. So I'm gonna go ahead and I will leave you now and clean up this stuff and change my clothes and get ready for all the other things. Hey, hi, hello, welcome to my closet. Um, today is what I'm calling fake St. Patrick's Day. It is um, Saturday, March 16th. And so St. Patrick's Day is a ginormous deal here in Savannah. Actually today they're having their 200th anniversary of the St. Patrick's Day Parade, which I'm really curious to know what the parade looked like in 1824. Cause I assume probably not the same as what it looks like now, but you know, I, I'm curious. I'm clearly not there. Um, parades are really not my scene in general. Um, they're loud and they're chaotic and they're crowded and there's a lot of people and especially with this one a lot of drunk people which is just not my favorite thing in the world. So I'm home. Um, I'm actually reorganizing my closet which is what I'm doing right now. So this morning I went through um, most, I'm well, almost done with all of my like workout clothes. I've been trying to clean out and clear out and just kind of get rid of extra stuff. So, um, two or three weeks ago, I went through and did a pretty big clear out of like my hanging clothes. And then today I'm going through workout clothes. I wanted to do like organize something every weekend, but that has not worked out. So working on this. Um, when I finish going through my workout clothes, I'm going to go through my vanity and reorganize that because it is a full on disaster and that's been on my to-do list for legitimately like three years. So really exciting things we've got going on here. Um, tonight I am going to have dinner with my parents. So that will be fun. I'm not sure where we're going yet. I do need to hit up Michael's, need some really big painting paper and some vines like fake vines which has a dual purpose because I need them for my children's church lesson tomorrow and then I also need them for um we just wanted some for the house for decoration like spring ivy situations so this is what's going on um we have no school Monday so this might go through till Monday it might be just today it might be today and tomorrow I don't really know what the plan is yet I am planning to do some work though, so do stick around if you're more interested in that than this. Um, but I, you know, productivity is a lot of things that a lot of times 
it's not actually work related and and cleaning up your environment makes a huge difference as I know because last time I was cleaning up in here and kind of cleaning things out we finally hung these shelves on here and like these shelves I bought these shelves last year so I hung those shelves up there with husband like and just tidied this spot up and I cannot tell you how much of a difference it makes like every time I walk in here I'm like oh so nice and organized and it's not all organized but it just looks like it from you know walking in and just it just takes a weight off so I'm gonna keep at this um that's my story for right now plan my hair looks real wild because I've been trying clothes on this morning all day because I've been trying to get rid of things that don't fit and move things out and just get rid of things I don't like and all that good stuff so I'm gonna keep at this and I'll check in with you later. I am gonna do product photography at some point this weekend. It may be today, it may be tomorrow, it may be on Monday, I don't know. Um, but I have like a million things to do product photos of, so it's gonna be really interesting. So, that's the plan, currently, right now. I'm also dealing with the fact that I don't think there's gonna be a video tomorrow because I just have been so busy and before that I was so sick and so I just haven't gotten a lot of things filmed. I did film some stuff this week but not in enough time to expect them to be edited and it's one of those like I can really stress myself out about it or I can just skip this week's video and it's probably not going to be the end of the world. I've been thinking a lot about you know the future and where I want to go and Realistically, I've got probably way too many things going on and I'm aware of that and so if I skip a week It's probably not the end of the world. So that's that's the, that's the current thought current plan What I've got going on. I did by the way in case you were wondering because I know you were on pins and needles I have decided that This one is gonna be my Easter dress. So if you watch the last one, I bought two dresses tried them on for you this is the one I've picked. I love it. It's like I put it on. I was like, I feel it's like, oh my gosh, in West Side Story, it's like, I feel pretty. Oh, so pretty. I feel pretty and witty and light. Um, so gorgeous. It has pockets. It just, it's very Becca. Very Becca. The other one I was like really on the fence about. And so what really got me was I was like, okay, out of the two. This one, I was like, whether I wear it for Easter or not, I'm keeping it. The other one, I was like, if I'm not wearing it for Easter, I'm sending it back. And then I was like, well, that's stupid. If I don't like it enough to keep it, why would I bother? So I'm going to send the other one back, but I'm going to wear this. And then I got these shoes from Amazon to go with it. And they're like really, really stinking close. So I think those will be good. I tried them on and they're actually like really comfy feeling. I haven't worn them yet, but they're like quite squishy. And what got me is there was... In the reviews because I always I always read reviews for shoes I don't always read reviews for everything but for shoes I always read them um, a middle school teacher was on there and she was like I'm a middle school teacher I walk around all day teaching I've worn these all day and they are fabulous and I was like okay we can do them then so got them for Easter we'll try out the blue ones if I like them then I may acquire them in a less specific color or a more fun color they had lots of colors, so you know, we could go white, we could go black, we could go navy, or we could go crazy. Any of those are fine with me. So, welcome to my weekend. All right, we've been quite, quite successful. Let me stick these in here. Um, it's not like super aesthetic, but my main goal was that I wanted to be able to open all the drawers, and I can open all the drawers. So this was my biggest thing. I have just been like, throwing everything in here <laughs> this top drawer so now it's like super organized I can actually see what all is in here hopefully I'll be able to find everything I'm constantly looking for like these little hair clips and stuff and I can never find them so now I know where they are just have um, mostly hair stuff some extra like makeup brushes and things and other miscellaneous this is all of my like well, I have some lotion, but mostly like hair doodads. Um, so that one can open. It was not opening before. This is lots of hair bows and headbands. I didn't touch that one at all. And then the bottom is kind of just like miscellaneous stuff. 
um but i actually went through that one before and even though it's not like organized and it's still like miscellaneous it's at least openable and i know what's in there and there's not a bunch of random junk for example three expo markers um my whole pressed penny collection because i used to be really into that including was it this one <sighs> the first time i went to disney world in 2014 it was 10 years ago now gracious um this which needs to go to my purse and are you canadian oh the canadian dime and five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen cents so there we go and lots of trash that feels a lot better so even though i'm not doing anything like super monumental i'm not like trying to reorganize everything like i'm looking at a pile of things that need to be reorganized but i'm not going to touch them i spent like an hour going through clothes and like an hour working on that so i feel like that is very good progress and i'll you know pick this up again on another day with something else so, there we are. All right, we've had an outfit change. Today has been a lovely day. My favorite days are days, like days off, are days where you get some relaxation in, some productivity in, and something fun. And we're like hitting all those things today. So I already got like closet cleaned out, spent like two hours working on that. I had a nice chill morning, like did my nice little morning routine for saturdays which includes lots of coffee and journaling and reading and stuff like that and then we watched a movie this morning i made breakfast we watched a movie and then did the productivity thing then i went and sat outside and read and that was glorious and that's why i'm gonna change her a little bit on the red side but it'll be fine um and now i'm about to go hang out with my parents so i'm gonna go hit up michael's with I'm gonna pick up mom we're going to michael's and dad's gonna meet us at wherever we decide to go for dinner um, because he did not want to go to Michael's, shockingly. So there we go. Uh, but here's my little St. Patrick's Day outfit. This shirt I love, it's called like a gauze material. It is super lightweight, which today, I mean, it's like 80, which is nothing. Um, so it's not like it's super hot or anything, but it's a little more of like a casual fit and then it's really lightweight. So when it does get hot, it's really like a nice one to wear if you're looking for something with sleeves. Um, I'll link it down below. It comes in a bajillion colors. I got it last year from J Crew Factory. And then this little score I got this year, I just loved the scallops. Um, so I got it like two weeks ago from Belk. Uh, I think it's, I think the regular price is like $60, but it was not regular price. It was some kind of uh, half off or 60% off or one of those kind of things. And then I'm just wearing like my Croc sandals to dress it down a little bit because um, we're probably going to go for burgers. So I don't need to be that dressy. And then, you know, I only have two more days to get wear out of my shamrock headband. So we're at things. I'm going to go pick a mom. We're going to go. It's really early. It's like not even five o'clock, but the earlier we go, the earlier we get home. Then I can have a nice quiet evening while husband is networking with people tonight, which is what he's doing. Um, so, love that for me. Sunday, happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, yesterday I had a lovely, lovely day, lovely afternoon, hung out with my parents, and came home, took a nice, really hot, really long bath. Went to church this morning, taught the children, had a great time, went to lunch, went to Sally Andrews' grandparents, and 
went to a couple stores. We didn't buy very much. We got like two vases and some cloth napkins, which is what we're after. Mm -hmm. And now we're home. So that's really all that's been going on lately. I've got to figure out what my plan is for this afternoon. I would like to get some planning done. I do need to do product photos either today or tomorrow. So I'm going to do that. Or if I'm going to paint because I need to do some paintings for the house. So I don't know. We shall see. All right, I've made a decision. Today's product is ginormous painting. So I think I'm gonna get the background on this and then while the background is drying, I'm gonna deal with this stuff. These are boxes um, to hold things, so I just need to pull them out of the bags and start putting them where they need to go. These are random wrapping things that don't have a home. These are clothes I'm getting rid of, but I don't know where to put right now because I haven't decided what, how I'm getting rid of them. And then this just needs to be clean. Things got real out of control at Christmas when I was wrapping everything in this room and it just never quite got back to where it needs to be. I also got this really big watercolor paper yesterday. So that's exciting. I need to clean off this chair so I can actually sit here. That would be nice too. So clean off the chair, at least clean this part up and maybe tidy that part up and we'll see. If I can like get to my closet, that would be some progress. You should also at least, I, I mean, it's not done, but you could at least go this way. progress so far it's really fun to see it just kind of like start to come to life I mean obviously I have a lot more to do because all of this is just blocked out and I have to like redo that which is why I blocked things out and the faces aren't done yet this one's my favorite this one's my least favorite it blended too much I like I like the little bit of streakiness on it um but I mean I'll have more layers on those and I'll you know, obviously do all the flowers that are gonna be in the vases and fix the background and all the good stuff. This one is gonna go in the piano room. Um, and so I'm trying to keep it fairly neutral, but like pinks and purples and yellows and the flowers to make it nice and fun and springy. So that's why I was trying to make the vases not too in your face. Um, but I think I'll pause that for now since I don't have school tomorrow. I can work on it tomorrow, so that'll be great. Um, we should have food pretty soon. We just ordered some dinner because we were just kind of both like, wanted something, nothing sounded good. So here we are. We haven't been ordering dinner at all, so. And this felt like it was pretty okay. Tomorrow morning, I do have bar class and then not totally sure what my plan is gonna be after that which kind of kind of kind of take the day as it comes definitely going to bar class i definitely want to chill for some part of the day and like read and stuff like that um i'll probably work on this a good bit i would love to get a good chunk of it done tomorrow since i have the time I need to do that product photography would love to start getting some products posted but it's just all gonna depend i tend to put way too many things on my days off and then I don't have time for all of my things um, so I'm trying to not get too too concerned so I have more paintings I want to do or like I have more spots that need paintings so I'm starting with this one and then I need to do more but I'm not sure what I want to do on the other ones yet so I'm just kind of having one and I did clean up a lot so I think it doesn't really look clean but like this whole section is clean I did not touch the chair yet um because I did I was waiting for the background to dry while I did all of this stuff and then I went jump back into this I did get all the clothes put away and washed and the sheets changed and like a lot of that kind of stuff so very productive day just not a not a work productive day which is fine I try to take at least one weekend day off 
each week. I don't always accomplish that, but that's always like what I'm intending to do. Um, so that's, that's kind of my, my thought, my plan. And then whether or not that happens remains to be seen. Um, and then I can, I never schedule things on the weekend. So I always tell myself I can take the whole weekend off if I want, but I can work one day if that's okay. So that's kind of how I go for that trying to get you know a little more rest and a little more relaxation in and i will say looking at rest and relaxation things like sitting outside painting taking a bath reading books writing my journal like those things i find much more restful than like sitting and watching tv or like scrolling on instagram um, so i'm trying to lean into those things that like give me energy rather than just take the energy away so food for thought, things to think about. I'm gonna leave this and I will come back to it tomorrow. Cause I don't have to go to school. It's gonna be lovely. And then we have like four days. The next week we have four days and we get Friday off. Mm. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. Hello, my do I look cute? Happy day off. Love a good day off with nothing to do. I just got back from bar class. They kicked my butt today. Some days I go and I'm like, I can do this. And other days I'm like, I'm gonna die. And today was the latter. Um, but I'm home now. It is a lovely day. So I think I'm gonna take the dogs for a walk since that doesn't involve too much, you know, body efforts. So I'll probably go upstairs and change my shoes. I always wear the same, this is really random. I always wear the same pair of shoes when I take the dogs walking so that they associate that pair of shoes with walking because dogs are crazy and they will catch on to routines like crazy. So if I wear a pair of shoes walking and also wear it like out, then if I put them on, they'll freak out because they're excited like, oh, we're gonna go on a walk and then we don't go on a walk and then they're sad. Um, so I try to always, like I always wear the same pair of shoes. We always go through the same door when we go walking. We go through the gate through the backyard. I never take them out the front door. Um, just little things like that to try to, you know, calm some of the chaos. But they, I'm sure, will appreciate that. I'll need to find some lunch pretty soon. And then today's plan, um, I need to do some planning. So my, my plan is to plan. Um, so I need to do some planning. I will be i definitely need to take a shower because i'm gross wash my hair because it's gross um and then i need to do my product photos work on my painting and then i want to do like just a little bit of tidying up we got our table situation is almost ready yesterday we found some green napkins which are great so i've right now i have them alternated with the blue that we already had and then the green i only have four of these blue which is why i got the green um but we might change that we shall see but look i got these cute little bunny napkin rings <laughs> they're from belk they're really cheap i'll see if i can link them down below because i just thought they were so cute but it's like a very it's a subtle like y'all know i'm not super into like the crazy cutesy thing so that's like a subtle fun little thing so i just like you know i might like pull these pillows out finish the laundry um and then like put this stuff away that we have just from trying to like decide what we were gonna do as far as decor wise um and then i got some vines at michael's the other day i'm gonna put on the tv stand so that's my tentative plan i do have choir this afternoon so i have like seven hours and that should be fine right i've gone back to if you were around last summer i was really big on not watching tv <laughs> um and so actually in june i made it a challenge and i had a rule i could only watch tv if it was with somebody else or if i was doing something else so like if i'm painting you know like when i was doing this room makeover like i watched videos and podcasts and movies while the whole time i was doing like this room and like painting and stuff like that um and like in the evenings when husband comes home and we watch whatever we watch like we watch what we just finished gilded age and it was so good um but not like me just sitting down and watching tv by myself because i realized that, that was a place that i was wasting some time during the summer specifically um but it didn't give me enough reward for 
that you know it was like it wasn't great enough that I felt like it was it was worth it so I did that all of June and then I accidentally went through July and I kind of forgot about it um and was like oh I can watch TV now if I want to but yeah so I've been I've been slipping a little bit and there have been a few times like especially when I've been sick that I've been doing more of that but um trying to get back to that now especially because we have spring break coming up and we have summer coming up and I just want to make sure that I'm like spending my time doing the things I actually want to do and not necessarily spending my time um wasting my time you know Ooh. and now if I want to sit down and like watch a movie to me that's a little bit different because it's like intentional and so being like oh I'm gonna sit down and watch a movie or I'm gonna sit down and watch an episode versus like just automatically getting on the couch and then like wasting half your day um so you know i'm like i don't have that much time i don't want to waste it not doing things that i'm actually interested in so that's my little two cents i'm not anti-tv i still watch tv but i try to do it with somebody else or if i am doing something else and then you know every once in a while if i'm like oh i want to watch a movie oh i want to do that that's fine too but just try to keep it under control. I don't, I, you know, I'm like in 50 years, I'm not going to be like, man, I wish I watched more TV. Like, you know, I'm going to be like, man, I wish I painted more. I wish I practiced piano. I, you know, like those are the, th I wish I like hung out with people. Those are the things I'm going to want to do. Not, man, I wish I watched TV. I'm going to think, man, I wish I had taken Tolly for more walks. And I live for more walks too, because she's, she's crazy. So that's what we're going to do right this second. And then we're gonna get on with our day. Maybe I'll play it outside because it's, it's a lovely day. It's a lovely day. It's a little bit chilly right this second with the wind, but we'll see how it shakes out this afternoon. Last week I discovered that Nyla walks so much better on the leash if her and Tali are on the same side because normally she goes back and forth and back and forth across me. And I don't give her a lot of leash, so if I don't give her enough leash then she just like runs me into the grass. Just do that. So, there we are. So your lesson for that is what are you doing a certain way in your life or in your business that maybe doesn't need to be done that way? Uh, just for fun, I would take you through my reading journal. So I don't go in this every day. Um, but it's just where I kind of like keep track and keep notes of different books that I've read. So I have my little cover just to make me happy because I like it. Um, I have a very loud bar all the time. Um, I just finished a book this weekend. So I'm gonna color in my next one. I'm not putting the titles on these this year. So I have that in a separate. So this is just for my goal, but I do have different colors for each. So I'm at three and I should finish at least one more, probably two this month, but we'll see. Um, here is where I am keeping track of titles. So let's do March. I just finished. I don't know that I'm going to be able to write and do this at the same time. Feel good. Productivity. And they're too small, so I just kind of abbreviate, and it's fine. Um, and then I have some things that I might want to read, how I would like to kind of synop synopsis, is that a verb? How I would like to create synopsis, synopsis, I don't know. How I would like to recap books that I've read, as well as like my rating scale um, Bible tracker. So I just finished John. One more book in the New Testament. And then I have a book timeline. I don't have anything to add to this. This just makes me really happy. So it's just like the years of the different books because I read pretty much only historical fiction. I was toying around with like monthly pages, but I just don't have enough to put on here. Um, and then I have my little like recaps. So this is a nonfiction book. So with nonfiction, mostly I'm looking for like 
quotes. This one I just did like the main points. Um, but usually I have, yeah. So quotes, key takeaways, and then action points, things I actually want to accomplish. With fiction, I've been doing just like basically what the book is about and then like my thoughts on the book. Um, so I have that. And I like adding the flags for books from other countries. And I need to add a Polish flag to this one. Um, but yeah, so I need to add some to these. I would like to add diaries of a CEO and feel good productivity. So I need to do those two recaps. And then, yeah, I don't need to do any of those. Um, and then we'll be doing pretty well. But just a fun little thing. It's got tons of pages, so it will probably last me more than one year. But I just like having, you know, making a little thing. It's kind of like doing a book report. But it just kind of reminds me of what happened it lets me kind of get my thoughts onto paper and you know I get to do fun little drawings and stuff and that's also fun and it's fun to me to try to like decide how I want the layout to look and like what I would want to do and what colors I want to do based on the book and that's kind of like the fun thing that I've been enjoying and so it's just, it's just making it more fun and you know anything that makes reading fun is, is okay by me so there we go. I put my shoes on so crazy this has ensued, but I will link this sweatshirt by the way down below. I love it. It's from Lily Pulitzer. I have two of them. I got one last year and this one's from this year, but I just, I love the print and I love that it's like a pullover. It's a quarter zip. It's super comfy. It's very lightweight, but like it's just, it's so good to throw over like workout clothes or, you know, even wear out. I wear it out quite a bit. The other one is like a one, well, it's a print from last year, but it's cute. It's got like fish on it, but love, love, love. Highly recommend, link it down below. So I've discovered you can make a really yummy protein packed iced coffee. If you do two shots of espresso and then a full premier protein shake. I like this caramel, though I, I just tried this Saturday for the first time, but it was really good. Caramel in general tends to be my favorite. I like caramel macchiato from Starbucks and it makes like a really nice creamy yummy iced coffee. I know I've been going on and on about this thing since I got it in January. <laughs> But I love it so much. This is a tote bag from Erin Condren. Um, it's just really well made. It's got tons of pockets. It has like, um, there's three little sections. So there's one here. You can see this one I'm not using. And these all come out so you can make it all just one big thing. But I use this for all of my, essentially things I use in the morning or like all of my notebooks. So I have my Bible, my journal, my bullet journal, which is where I do all my planning, my um, reading journal, my notebook I use as a planner for like daily to do's and tasks and stuff like that my this is my bible journal so i write like you know things that inspire me and whatnot and this is just a random notebook that i use for pretty much anything else um and then i have like pens and i keep everything in here so there's like double-sided tape and i have lots of different pens and some different binder clips and like just all the different things that i need and this has been one of the biggest game changers is one having a really 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 solid morning routine where i'm focusing on myself first and really focusing on like having good things having good thoughts concentrating on my mental health planning really well before i start my day has been a game changer i mean today it's you know noon but on a normal day i do this at 5 a.m um and then so that's been a game changer and then the other game changer has been putting everything into this little tote so that i can carry it around i can move it wherever i want so i'm kind of thinking i want another one i was thinking maybe i would have another one and that way i could do like a similar thing but for art supplies so that if i want to like sit on the couch and do something that i can like you know stick all my art supplies in here and then bring it down so i don't know i'm thinking about it it's super cute they also have another one that's like navy with a really pretty design on it but i just have been loving this so i will link this down below and i will urge you <laughs> more than just having the tote is to have a solid morning routine with things that inspire you and help you feel 
good before you get started on everything else and help you with that solid planning situation. I'm gonna go see why my dogs are barking and get to work on all this stuff. And if you want like a video talking more in detail about like how this has helped or what I include, some people call these like their morning baskets. We can talk about that, just let me know. All right, so it took me all weekend, but I did finally get my product photos done. Gracious, I just spent, well, if you count the time printing out the photos or all the things, it was about two and a half hours. No, one and a half hours. Yeah, it was 3.30, so an hour and a half. Okay, that's not as bad as I thought because it takes me a while to go through and decide what I want to print out and what I want to showcase for each product because I don't sh print out everything typically because um, it's just not necessary, you know? Some things are more important than others and so I just like, try to really be strategic about that. But we've got all of this. And now I have to go post all of those. Not right now though, it is five o'clock. I um, want to make some progress on this painting from yesterday. And I'm also starting to get hungry. So I think I might paint for like maybe, maybe I'll go make some coffee and paint for like an hour and then I'll go eat dinner or something along those lines. Um, but yeah, it's a reminder that even though you're not at school, you can't do as many things as you think you can do which actually I will have checked off pretty much everything I haven't messed with stuff downstairs but I can pick that up like while I'm cooking dinner or something like that so we shall see um but yeah thanks for hanging out with me this weekend I know it was a little bit more chill and a little bit less work than usual but as someone who has um very much a productivity crazy person and has burned herself out more than once it is really helpful to have these times where you just don't and you do some things you know get your house in order and get your life in order and read and take walks and like do those things to take care of yourself because it actually does indeed make you feel more ready to go do things and so i'm looking forward to going into this week having been really well rested this weekend um not just from sleep but also from just like some time to chill and some time getting things done and all of that and it's really really game changer so that's my plan um and yeah thanks for hanging out with me doing some product photos i'll see you in the next one bye <music>